Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction. Coach, now if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, today we got something a little bit different. Now we still are doing a reaction, of course. Um, but as y'all know, for the most part, we re react to music and stuff like that. Um, but it's 2022, bro. I didn't have so many ideas for the channel um, as far as reaction videos, different types of videos and stuff like that. So y'all, hey, stay tuned. This year, we definitely gonna be rolling out uh, some of uh, different content as opposed to just reactions. But like I said, we are here for a reaction today, um, but it, it's, it's not gonna be to music, you feel me? Um, we actually reacting to Kevin Samuels. He was on IG Live last night with Nicki Minaj. Now this was, I didn't expect this at all. Like I've seen him on there with a couple celebrities here and there. Um, but I didn't expect Nicki Minaj to be on here. You feel me? Like this is, I, this is crazy. Like this is probably one of the biggest videos he'll probably have. Um, I think it's probably already at like two, 300,000 views by now. I'm sure it'll be at a million by the end of today or tomorrow. Cause I mean, Nicki fans go crazy for her. You feel me? Um, but we reacting to this. It's a full, it's an 18 minute video. So we're going to react to the full video. I only saw like the first, maybe two, no, probably like one minute of it. And it's 18 minutes. For all the ones who don't know who Kevin Samuels is, we've done like two to three reactions of his on the channel. Um, and like I said, this is one of the ideas that I've had on the channel to check out videos. Kind of in that manosphere kind of realm where like, you know, you got the ladies who want this high value man. And then you got people asking, okay, so what do you offer to this guy? What does this guy want? And then on vice versa, you got guys who want this type, like stuff like that. You feel me? But I haven't reacted to too much of it. Like I said, we maybe got like three to four different videos of that specific type of video or a specific type of content. But um, either way, bro, I'm doing a little bit too much talking. Now, first of all, Nikki, either her promo team is on it or she knows what she's doing because she hasn't dropped a song in like probably like a little less than a year, but it's been at least five to six months since we heard from her on the music tip. Um, she's about to drop a song and a music video on Friday with Lil Baby. We are going to be doing a reaction to that. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to see the reaction to that. But how convenient is it that she's dropping on Friday and now she ends up on Kevin Samuels, one of the guys that gets the most traction these days. Um, she just happens to hop on his live. I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but I feel like she know what was up. I mean, it's just good marketing. You feel me? Like, not that she needs it, but I mean, hey, it, st it still is smart when you think about it. Now, I don't know what this conversation is going to be like, but I feel like she could maybe throw something in there that's like one of them jarring type of statements or something that's going to get people like, what? To where her and Kevin Samuels, not necessarily arguing, but kind of going back and forth and get people to come and view it more. You feel me? Which is in turn going to get them to check out her music. Either way, like I said, I'm doing a little bit too much talking. We almost had, what, three minutes, four minutes? For the intro so let's see what these talking about coach this should be interesting i heard it was blood clots and shit i'm i'm old and we might need to get nine one one over there so my bad let let me tell you <laughs> you see let me tell you why i much i love the universe and i am a firm believer of the universe okay listen i wanted to get on and talk to you for a very long time is that right that's very right well, how convenient is it that you do so, it right before I you drop the song? <laughs> what you gotta, you know, let's let's have this real talk. Let's have this real talk. Um, because I know a lot of times when people speak to you, they it's like they trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. And and I feel and I feel like if a, if you if you call somebody trying to be funny, yes, I think I feel if you try if you call somebody trying to be funny, then don't be mad at what you get. If you right. call somebody, if you call somebody that you know, and you're really trying to, you know, sincerely ask questions or get information or, or chat, then that's different. So, I want to talk to you. Okay. What are we talking about? Well, what what do you rate me? <laughs> Is that what we're starting off with? Yeah. Do you think the does women? She have, do you think she have braces? First of all, Nikki did just have a baby, like some months. Well, not just had a baby. I think it was like what five, six months ago or something. Not too sure. 
Um, she said, what would you rate? Now, this is why I feel like she's setting it up to be on something. Because she's like, what would you rate me? Which, we just going to let it play out. Let's see what he's talking about. Men rate women. No, I thought, because I, I, isn't that what you do? Look at how she's it's, looking, bro. It looks like she's trying to set content? it up. Have you, seen, have you just seen, like, the clips? Yeah. I, well, I think, I always see people calling you, and they, and then you, and you tell them, you ain't no such and such. You lying to yourself. You ain't this. You what, know, I, so I, what I typically don't do is I don't typically rank people. I ask oh. them if they rank themselves. I usually oh. ask these questions. So let's start it that way. Yeah. All right, how tall are you? I'm 5'3". Yeah, and this is his normal little line of questioning. Tall are you? Dress size? Uh, how much do you weigh? Do you have kids? Have you been made like that whole type of line? Do is I don't typically rank people. I ask oh. them if they rank themselves. I oh. usually ask these questions. So let's start it that way. Yeah. Right, how tall are you? I'm five three. Dress size? My dress size? Mm -hmm. She's five. <laughs> ben the Don said that. Um, my dress size. That's a good question. Um, I, I guess a f four. All right. And on a scale from one to ten, you can't use seven. What would you rank yourself? What you think she gonna say? I th I think she gonna say a ten, but she might try to keep it modest because she's fresh face out of the shower, just you. Yeah. Because I always ask the question. Seven. Can you use seven? That's why I seven is the most common answer. Really. It's a default answer for most people because they don't want to go too high, they don't want to go too low. Um, well, no, um, it ain't a default answer for me. Well, I would, let's see. I would give you a nine. Okay. I would give you a nine because you have the facial symmetry and you get additional points for eyes. Oh. Full lips. See, it, it's... At the same time, does she have anything added to the face? I mean, obviously she got her actual body done, but... He said he would give her a nine, but you've honestly never seen Nicki Minaj fresh out the shower. Oh my God, like what are we talking about here? I mean, I'm not saying that she's not a nine, but you've never seen her I, fresh out the shower. I'm right? an actual image consultant. And oh. so, I mean, I'm sure you, you, you dealt with a lot of people who take your pictures and stuff and so forth. You have a symmetrical face. And so it's much more based upon facial symmetry. It's not based on European beauty standards or anything like that. It's much more based upon what babies, animals, Human beings have evolved to find attractive. Wow. You get, and you get additional points because we have evolved to find more slanted eyes, some are attractive, especially when they're not on Asian. Wow. Wow. But that, 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 that's, not what gets, that's not what gets translated. Most of the time, people take my clips and cut it down to something that's going to make a viral moment. It's going to start a conversation. Take the good with the bad. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything else that I did? I saw one time when you checked this lady for, I think, I guess it was a white lady or a Hispanic lady, and you was like, oh, you're not going to come on this show and talk down on black women. That's what the fuck you're not going to do. Yeah. And so, again, that was a clip. I didn't, I didn't see the context, really, but... Well, I get a, I get a rap of hating black women. Uh, and it's far from that. I mean, there are over 50 black women who report that they've gotten married as a result of watching my content. In the land. Really? It's on my it's on my Instagram. I actually had a young sister uh, just post up saying, hey, as a result of you, I snatched the ring. I just actually posted a brother who was about to move to the Dominican Republic, and he found his wife in my Facebook group. Like 12 couples have gotten married in there. But that stuff doesn't get publicized. Mm. But when I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about men and women, but because I'm black, I'm talking about us. Mm -hmm. And from time to time, I would bring stuff in, and then a lot of times sisters would say, well, men, when they get to a certain level, they only want white women or this or that. Um, so I, I, I let women from other races come in. I'm like, okay, well, can you learn anything from them? What, what would you teach them? And my name is Irving Tisman. On February 4th. Okay, so they ain't really got too, too much in there too much oh. just yet. <gasps> I mean, the one woman came in, and she thought she was going to do what I did to black women. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold on, oh wait, wait, 
Now, I, we can talk this way, but Karen, you sit your ass down over there. Because I don't play that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't let, you know, d despite popular opinion, I love my mother, I love my daughter. But we do have to have a, a family conversation. And it's what's starting to happen more is actually we're starting to have more conversations about this. It ain't comfortable. But uh, we're starting to see progress. Well, let me ask you this just outright then. Mm -hmm. why, why do successful Black men date outside of their race? Um, well, I would say this. When I look at men, I look at, I split them up. Guys that I consider to be in the industry, music, entertainment, athletics, and then guys on the business side. Okay. Business side, because I come from that side. But uh, more often than not, Black men want to be with Black women. Mm. We do marry. 85% of black men are married to black women. Oh. When okay. I when I had my guy, guys come to me, even after they got themselves together, like didn't now, for some reason to me I feel like Nikki is being sarcastic, but she actually may be may actually be being genuine. You feel me? Like I feel like it's like it's half and half for me. I feel like she's kind of being sarcastic where she's about to set it up for something, but then it's like same time she might that might just be how she how she it's is. Probably, the guy who just moved. He found his black wife in my group. Black men want to, we want to be with them. The problem is, let's be honest, in my lifetime, we weren't really raised to learn how to get along with one another. We can kick it, we can hook up, and we can, but can we work together long term? And uh, uh, I mean, you're married now, right? Okay, marriage is, relationship is a skill set. Why does she answer like It's that? different than dating in short term. We really want to talk that kind of stuff and what successful people who are doing good in their professional life want to fail in their personal life. And in the black community in particular, when we fail in our personal lives, we pay a huge penalty because so few of us get married. It's almost like we like to see people's marriages fall. But we need more of those things in order to build whatever we're going to be because um, they, people may not, like, may not like my method, but I want to see more black men who want black wives get with black women. And that's the outcome we're getting. It ain't pretty. Though. Sometimes it ain't pretty. Can I say something? Can I say something real quick? Black women, can y'all, can y'all, can we, can we stop, stop talking about if these niggas want us or not. Excuse me, Kevin, this is not, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to black women real, real quick. Can we stop talk? Can we stop posting all day on TikTok? Cause I, I re, I newly went to TikTok and I, and I just kept seeing this mm -hmm. black women. Can we stop talking about if black men, if these successful black men want us or not? Mm -hmm. Like, can we just, focus on us and we be successful and then we go out there and we decide who the fuck we want because what i've been now see kevin might have some pushback for this because usually he'll say that the women control the power to sex men control the power um to relationships and marriage which is very true because obviously a woman can't well i mean at the same time that's 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 mostly true because you can have a guy that wants to get married to a woman if you propose to her and she says no, then obviously you don't control the power in that specific situation. But um, I wonder what his response is going to be. Today. Is I feel like I've been seeing men using that as an opportunity because they they've been hurt and and somebody done and they've been using it as a as a way to come out and lash out and poke fun at black women and use it as a way to feel like they somebody or they something or so. So for all you niggas that's doing that on TikTok, wherever the fuck y'all at, eat a dick, go away. Nobody gives a shit about you. And I want black women to stop fucking posting about whether or not y'all 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 want black women or not. Okay? Well, well, I want black women just to focus on themselves, be successful, and then. And Kevin normally says like a man does not want well a successful man. The high value that they're talking about is like don't care about your money. Don't care about you having a degree, and and he normally comes with some some facts that hey the women that are more successful usually have a lower marriage rate, um or marital rate, or seem to be more unhappy than somebody that has less uh, education is less successful in whatever their career field is. You feel me? Because obviously when you get a woman that's 
got more education. She's got more money. She has that sense of like, I'm the ish and I ain't going to take no ish from nobody. You feel me? Which, I mean, hey, it's rightfully so. Do what you do. But at the same time, is that going to end how you want it to as far as having marriage, being able to cooperate with somebody within a marriage or within a relationship long term? You go out there and you decide the trajectory <clears throat> of your life. Okay. Well, here's, and here's the thing. There's a lot of hurt on both sides. And, and a lot of, and especially in the black community, we don't really do a lot of counseling therapy. Uh, I, I recommend therapy often uh, because we got a lot of stuff individually that we want to deal with. And marriage and relationships are not for everybody. And I'm just trying to, ultimately I ask people, what do you want? What do you want and what are you prepared to do to get what you want? And are you willing to pay that cost? It's really the conversation, but it always gets kind of whittled down. But at the end of the day, what we are seeing is, you know, especially if you're under 30, it, it's harder for guys today under 30 than it was from 50 years ago, because you can't take care of a family on a high school or, or just coming out. So they're at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and I, rec I just had men's week. And I recommend, I told guys, look, while you're under 30, work, recognize, work on getting yourself together because like it or not, you're really not in a position like, like you should be to be able to work with, lead, do anything like that. Um, and you see the hate, not the hate, but the hurt on both sides because a lot of times people will use these talking points to go at and poke women over here. But that's not what's going on right now. This year, we're, we're past the sound. I mean, we still laugh. We still, we still do all that stuff. We're talking about self-awareness um, and, and moving the needle. I'm going to be in L.A. tomorrow talking with uh, a, a famous sexologist, a womanist, feminist, to talk about things that, I may not, that people on my side may not understand to further open the conversation up. Because that's what we have to get to. We got to end up, for whoever want to be involved with whoever, we got to end up having a better conversation because while we're separate, fighting, everybody else just eats off of us. That's really what that looks like. So, okay, well, okay Kevin. Yeah, so, since we get, so, since we're here, no, we got we to gotta, we gotta get down to the business chat. Go now, ahead. Now, do you think a man can, can, can um, have sex three times a night for, his, for the rest of his life? Mm, those guys can't. They can't? <laughs> Not for the rest of his life, no. Well, how many times Why is that they the gonna question? be able to do it? It's how much he's working. It's how much he's working. That's why I say it's different on But but wait, um, no, listen, no, but, the, no, no. no. Listen, hold on. How many times should a man expect to have uh, sex. What is, in your opinion, how many times should a woman give their man? I started Trubla because I hate paying this for subscriptions I'm not using. Well, Find something you no longer want. Like I said, Trubla I can like cancel. Nikki might have been setting it up for something, but she she seemed like she was pretty receptive to all the stuff he was saying. Looks like it may get a little into some somewhat vi viral clips around this time, just because of that question she just asked. But we'll sex. See. A week. A week. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of the as often as he wants it. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> because here's the thing, it's under, here's the thing. You look at, like I said, I look at guys, most guys I'm talking to are working 10, 12 hour days. Bernie Mac said it, I'm gonna come home and give you 50 strokes. You count them if you ain't got, if you ain't got time. <laughs> most dudes are trying to walk around like they porn stars. Look at man. Get good at four play some pussy and, and get on because you ain't got we don't have all that time. You get old, our back hurt, and hips out. No cap, he's oh, no. hip to give out. When you get older, <laughs> but you, I mean, I think no cap. I think a happy sex life two to three times a week is what most people are doing because they got kids. Yes, no, I, I, understand. but when you're single, no yep. kids, yeah, and everything going crazy. Yeah, going crazy. yeah, well, <laughs> she's like, I don't know about that one. No, I understand because, yes, things change when you have to be looking at your baby and, you know, a lot of, you know, I get it. I totally get it. But um, let me ask you something. Do men really want, because I was having this discussion two days ago. 
do men really want a woman to be all up under them? Uh, like all like. It's like a, I feel like um, before he even answered that. For obviously she ain't asking me, but look, we reacting to the video. Do men want a woman to be all up under them? It's like a yes and a no. Because when you all up under them, it's like okay, she here for a nigga. You feel me? She up up, but then when it's like it's too much sometimes, and it's like you feel me, and then sometimes it's like you even want to say something, but it's like you know that that might start a that might start an argument or something. You feel me? You say something, and it's like, well, you don't want to tell. It's like ah, fuck it, my nigga. Like so, I, I mean, it's a damn two. It's a two sided situation. Oh, baby, hi, hi, yeah, ooh, time. Or do they just say they want that, and when they want that, they, and when they get it, they be like, because I like, feel nigga, like, it's like, like you don't really mean, want it, but it's like you don't. It's what it's hard <laughs> to explain. You don't want somebody all up on all up under you like it's high school, like <laughs> like I'm just giggly good like all fucking day long. But same time, you don't want to feel like damn, my nigga, it's been all fucking day. I ain't even heard from them. Like, what you doing? You feel me? Like you don't want it to be on that shit either. Yeah. Patrice, the late great Patrice O'Neal said it the best. We want you around, but not around. He made a comedy <laughs> bit where he said, we want you in the house, kind of like around the corner in the vent somewhere. We kind of want you to be like a cat. You call a cat's name, hey, babe. OK, you there, cool. We just want to know you in touching distance. <laughs> That's really all we want. Because we, we really and I feel, I feel like I'm like a man. I feel like I'm. You know, a lot of people throughout my life would tell me that I'm like a man. Because I remember I remember people would tell me I shouldn't want to, I shouldn't expect as a woman to have a climax every time I do it, right? Well, like not. Hilton. And I said, excuse me, are you out of your fucking mind? Why wouldn't I want to climax every time I have intercourse, just like you want to climax when you have intercourse? And I was I was accused of being like a man. Not well, I mean, who's who's telling you this? Are you in middle school? Like, why are they telling you that you're like a man because you want to climax when you have sex? That's... In my, know. you know, I'm. this is years ago. And I knew that wasn't going to work, child. Because uh -uh, it's not only about you. Well, you that, think about that. Well, well. so when I go to LA, LA I'll be talking to sexologists. Uh, you know, Shambu Dream, Shambu. Um, there's a lot that men don't understand about sexuality. Most guys, you ask them what the Kama Sutra is, they don't know what it is. They don't know anything about it. Tantric sex, they don't even know that you couldn't even show them the anatomy of a vagina and they can understand the parts. Just weren't talking. Now, I can understand the parts. The first two he just said, Karma Sutra, I've heard that, don't know what it is. Tantric sex, whatever he said, I, I never heard of that either. Now, you feel me? For me personally, we like to make sure the lady is pleased. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Oh. That's all I'm gonna say. On so, that. and you know, uh. If you know what you're doing, yeah, you supposed. Yes, you should have as much orgasm. You should. You're, you're multi-orgasmic. You can have more than we can. That's right. Okay. So the point is that I think that's, that was part of the purpose of going down there to have this conversation because women's sexuality is so misunderstood by men. Mm. So a lot of guys make comments about women in not knowing, and they make decisions based on women. And I say ultimately this: if you ain't getting married, what the fuck you care about a woman's body count? And who's she fucking with? You ain't gonna take ownership of it. And if it's yours, you need to learn what to do. Because mm. mm, uh, yeah. You... Well, if I was a man, I would still care about who a woman is fucking. Just it just safety, safety. As long as it's clean. I'm talking about there are guys who worry about things. That, here's the thing: there's ownership and then there's dating. A lot of we do a lot to disqualify one another. Um, and we got enough stuff already disqualifying us. Oh, right, right. To put women yeah. down. Yeah, I mean, or, to, or, to, or to discount men, too. And I'm like, well, in the context of a relationship, it's different than people who are out here just hooking up. Um, mm -hmm. If you're going to have, if you're going to just be out here hooking up, you need to be, I, I would assume you would want to have a good sexual rep a reputation. Who want to be a dead lay or a weak fuck? <laughs> no, it's not, um, it's not a good look. No, see, no. people are like I'm so lost. <laughs> no, I'm not lost. No, I'm talking I'm about people in the. Oh, I want to put it on. I want to put it on a person. I don't give a shit. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, all. <laughs> I seen the video.
I heard what the what was what were you talking about? The blood. What is a blood? What is that? Blood clot. <laughs> I'm serious. I know what is that. No, it's just a, it's just a term that my family, my Jamaican people, who I love very much, it's just a, a curse word that they use. Like with a blood clot, you deal with post war. You understand? So that. All right, I've heard that before. I'm like, I don't know if it's a curse word or what. All right, cool. But uh, good to be on here with you. You got any other questions? Because I got to get packed. All right, that's the end of it. I gotta finish talking to my people, but I want to tell you that I appreciate you joining me tonight. Appreciate it. Um, oh, and, so she and I don't want to, and to everybody that's wanting me to, um, to, to diss this gentleman or anything, I'm not do going to do anything because I don't have proper information and I don't do shit to get attention or to get clicks or to, I mean, to do no clown shit. If, when, if I hear something and I understand the context and Kevin and I wants to talk, then we'll talk, but I'm not just here to diss nobody. So Kevin, if I say some shit you don't like, feel free to talk about it. I will. I, I will. Okay. will. Kevin, we're gonna, we gonna have to have you on Queen Radio in a, in a month or two, okay? Let's do it. All right. Take Bye. care. That's tough. Hey, Kevin Sanders out here coming up, coach. Yeah, you're really coming up. That's toughness. Well, so I guess Nikki was actually on live. He just ended up joining her live. And I'll be, I'll keep it a buck. I thought it was going to be on some stuff. Like she was going to come in there like, oh, well, you say this and you do like, not, not necessarily spazzing, but just like calling them out for some stuff. I thought it was going to be kind of like that, but it was actually a somewhat of a productive conversation. Not really, obviously too, or really any pushback on either side. It was really just a constructive conversation to me. You feel me? Um, Hey, you got to respect it. You got to respect it. You feel me? And you got to respect Nikki for coming out saying all the ones who want me to just hate this man, just say something, just to be saying something, I'm not going to do that. That's not me, you feel me? Or she ain't got the proper information to be able to do that. Of course, Kevin said, if you ever see anything, hey, say something. So I like, I mean, I like how they had that that conversation. Like I said, I think Nikki, well, I guess she was on her own live, so she didn't join his, but I just wonder if this, if this was kind of set up to be somewhat of promo for her new song coming out, even though she's bigger than Kevin Samuels, like on a celebrity standpoint, but um, it still could add more buzz to whatever she got going on, you feel me? But I wouldn't say she was doing it too much because she could have came in there spazzing out that would have got people talking a little bit more. So the fact that she didn't, you gotta give her props for that, bro. Um, like I said, we definitely checking out her music video that's dropping Friday with Lil Baby. That should be pretty dope. Um, got a couple other re reactions that's similar to um, the Manosphere stuff and all that um, that I might be coming with soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. There's a video on this channel called We Need to Talk. The title is Don't Just Buy Me Flowers Because I Want Flowers. So that might be the next video that I check out in this Manosphere realm. Uh, or not even Manosphere, but just on talks of that type of uh, content. You feel me? So y'all stay tuned for that. Um... I ain't got too much else to say though, bruh. You feel me? We on the road to 25K subscribers, 18. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. Like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm gonna keep these videos rolling out. We gonna keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.